tell them about an unflappable warrior. A warrior both at home and on the battlefield. The bird's offspring on a roco tree. A Carla Magbo's child with magical sight. One who walks ahead and notices people approaching from behind. Onikoyi, who used a thread to bind the rock. With the witchery lines of a Yajo. Onikoyi, who is undeterred by gunshots. Death's son, disease's son, who can never become ill. Onikoyi, who is assertive on the battleground. One who enjoys nothing more than conflict. The combatant who never takes a break. The child of the squirrel who cannot be apprehended by Onipakut. Onikoyi, who is unfazed by adversity. The offspring of the resolute Akoni. One who walked on the earth and rattled it. The child of the coconut root. That wreaks havoc on the soil. Onikoyi, who made a war garment out of spider web. A combatant with psychic powers. One who stays at the crossroads. And commands feral creatures from the forest. One who commands rainwater and fills the baronate reg when he is parched. Onikoyi, the jungle dweller who struts like a king. Onikoyi journeyed to terrifying bush and caused such a ruckus in the woods where 200 spirits stood against him. He summoned the unhittable breeze which he harnessed to bind them. Onikoyi, a powerful figure who arrived in the dark forest and came face to face with the cruel warriors. He recited incantations and set the dried grass on fire, which he used to burn them. Onikoyi, who goes for night walks and notices the baby's missing nails. Onikoyi, who walks during the day and refuses to notice passers-by because he sees just what he wants to see. He'll eat Olajini if you bring it to him. Bring him a lap indeed. He'll gobble it up. Bring the alligator to him. He'll devour it. But he'll never be able to devour the squirrel. Because it's a forbidden subject. For the squirrel represents his forefathers.